And I, I was just like blackballed and, uh, you know, uh, just, just totally canceled. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest celebrity downfalls of all time. OJ's football legacy is destroyed. People will never remember or think about what a great running back he was. For this list, we'll be looking at the most prominent celebrities whose ultra-successful careers came crashing down after one or more controversies. Which of these famous personalities do you think will make a comeback in the near future? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Kanye West Over the years, hip-hop mogul Kanye West has been the subject of multiple scandals. But in 2022, his controversial opinions reached a boiling point. West first attracted criticism in October when he made an appearance at the Paris Fashion Week wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt. So the answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious thing. Just a few days before, the rapper took to Twitter to make anti-Semitic remarks after he was locked out of his Instagram account. The tweet was met with a swift backlash, and he was dropped by multiple brands, such as Adidas, Gap, and Balenciaga, that he had worked with for years. Other brands have made similar moves. Gap is now pulling its Yeezy Gap line from store shelves. Luxury fashion house Balenciaga and talent agency CAA have dropped him. As a result, West also lost his billionaire status, and it's safe to say that things will never remain the same for the once celebrated rapper. Number 19. Millie Vanilli Originating from Munich, Millie Vanilli saw unprecedented fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Their debut album, which was released in the US as Girl You Know It's True, topped the charts for seven weeks and won them the Grammy for Best New Artist. There are a lot of artists here in this room, there are a lot of artists outside in the world who can achieve the same award that we achieved today. And it's an award for all artists in the world. Thank you very much. However, less than a year later, everyone came to realize that things weren't so true after all. After months of media speculation, it was revealed that the vocals on their album were provided by other singers, while the duo only lip-synced during their live performances. The consequences were monumental. The duo told CNN what should have been the best night of their lives was the worst. We, we felt that's the death sentence. How would you feel? Because, because there we knew already. Millie Vanilli was forced to return their Grammy to the Academy, and they were completely erased by their label, Arista Records. Number 18. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf first gained prominence on the Disney Channel series Even Stevens, before moving on to more mature roles in the late 2000s and early 2010s. Oh, no, no. Uh, we've been in the same school since first grade. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah, a long time. Well, do, do you have any classes together? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe History, should... language arts, math, science. Sam. Sam, yeah. Throughout his career, the actor has faced several legal issues, having been arrested on multiple occasions for charges including disorderly conduct, public intoxication, and battery. In 2013, he was accused of plagiarizing a comic strip in his short film, HowardCantor.com. But then when the film came out and was released online at the end of last year, that's when people started noticing it looked a lot like Justin M. Damiano, which was written by Daniel Close. Well, that's when people started noticing all of the issues. In response, he released a series of bizarre apologies that were literal copies of other public apologies. LaBeouf, who was once a fixture in Hollywood blockbusters, has seen a steady decline in his bankability and has since struggled to get his career back on track. Shia LaBeouf is not famous anymore. We don't entirely disagree. Number 17. Jared Fogel as a spokesperson for Subway restaurants, Jared Fogel rose from relative obscurity to becoming a household name in the early 2000s. Fogel appeared in a series of commercials for the company where he claimed that Subway sandwiches played a part in his rapid weight loss. And I realized I could enjoy lots of great tasting food without lots of fat. This partnership proved successful for both parties as Fogel amassed a net worth of $15 million and Subway sales saw a significant uptick. However, Fogel soon lost his beloved status when he was arrested in 2015 following a lengthy FBI investigation. A month ago, authorities raided his Indiana home, confiscating cell phones, hard drives, and cameras. 
and you just wouldn't expect it out of a family like that. Just hours after that raid, Subway suspended their relationship with Jared. According to reports, he had engaged in improper relationships with minors and had distributed illegal material. Fogel was sentenced to more than 15 years in prison after pleading guilty to multiple criminal charges. Number 16, Jerry Lee Lewis. At his peak, Jerry Lee Lewis had a career that arguably rivaled that of Elvis Presley. Regarded as a pioneer of rock and roll, Lewis's wild lifestyle, energetic performances, and signature piano style earned him favor around the world. But that favor quickly vanished when it was revealed that he had gotten married to Myra Gale Brown, his teenage cousin once removed. Lewis was in England for his first European tour when the details came to light, resulting in many of his performances being cancelled. His London tour was cancelled, but he later resumed doing live shows across the US. Back in America, the scandal also had a significant impact, with his appearance fee plummeting from $10,000 to $250 per night. Although he kept playing till his death in 2022, Lewis never shook off the label Cradle Robber. Number 15. Tanya Harding The 2017 film I, Tanya starred Margot Robbie as the once celebrated figure skater who falls from grace following a scandal. While the movie is darkly comedic, the real-life story is a lot more serious. In the early 90s, Tanya Harding was on a steady rise in the figure skating world, becoming the first American woman to ever execute a triple axel. Her rivalry with fellow sportswoman Nancy Kerrigan came to a head in 1994, when Kerrigan was whacked in the knee by an assailant. The attack plunged Kerrigan's Olympic dreams into doubt and focused suspicion on rival skater Tanya Harding. After the incident was traced back to her ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, Harding was implicated for failing to report it to the authorities. Consequently, she received a lifetime ban from the U.S. Figure Skating Association. Harding says she's done apologizing about Kerrigan's attack. <sighs> Enough apologizing. She's got her life, I've got my life, we both have wonderful lives. And that should be all that matters. Number 14, Matt Lauer. For 20 years, Matt Lauer was a co-host of NBC's popular Today morning show. It's time to look back at some of Matt's most memorable moments right here on Today. During that period, Lauer became a very familiar face, interviewing several high-ranking political figures and covering multiple Olympic Games. In the wake of the Me Too movement, a female coworker brought forward accusations of misconduct against Lauer, resulting in his termination by NBC in November 2017. Over the next few days, more allegations trickled in, with journalist Ronan Farrow claiming that NBC was fully aware of his behavior, but opted to do nothing about it. Lauer released a statement following his termination, in which he apologized and claimed to be embarrassed by the accusations. This news had people stunned. There was certainly a somber mood on the Today Show set this morning, where they announced the firing of Matt Lauer, their lead anchor, a fixture on the show for nearly 25 years. Since then, he has remained largely absent from the spotlight. Number 13, Mel Gibson. This Hollywood actor, director, and producer certainly is no stranger to controversy. Although he enjoyed great success in the 80s and 90s, Mel Gibson became mired in a string of controversies as the 2000s rolled around. His polarizing 2004 film, The Passion of the Christ, received widespread criticism from the Jewish community, who deemed it to be anti-Semitic. Gibson's relationship with the community, as well as his overall image, was further marred in 2006 after he uttered anti-Semitic remarks at an officer who was arresting him for drunk driving. Are those anti-Semitic words? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It sounds horrible. And I'm ashamed of that. That came out of my mouth. And I'm not that. That's not who I am, you know. The incidents caused Gibson to be effectively blacklisted from Hollywood for about a decade. In 2016, Gibson directed the critically acclaimed war film Hacksaw Ridge, which many regarded as his comeback. Number 12, 
Chris Brown. Back in the late 2000s, pop stars Chris Brown and Rihanna were one of music's most beloved power couples. That made it all the more shocking when, in 2009, the two got into an argument on their way back from a pre-Grammys party that quickly turned physical. I fell in love with that person. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing that that's the type of person that I fell in love with. So far in love. This altercation made it into the public space when a picture of Rihanna's battered face was leaked by TMZ. The Diamond singer was hospitalized as a result and unable to perform at that year's Grammy ceremony. Brown faced felony charges for the assault and eventually took a guilty plea. He was sentenced to five years probation, community service, and mandated to receive domestic violence counseling. I mean, it's not really a big deal to me now as far as that situation. Mm -hmm. I think I'm past that in my life. Number 11, Woody Allen. One of the most prolific filmmakers of his generation, Woody Allen has earned numerous awards over the course of his decades-long career. But while he has had an undeniable influence in Hollywood, his reputation has been marred by a string of controversies in his personal life. Out of this has grown lawyers and psychologists and district attorneys and private investigators. And I mean, I'm saying it's a multi-million dollar industry that has sprouted up over a total non-event. Allen first faced allegations of assault in 1992 by his own adoptive daughter, Dylan Farrow, which he vehemently denied. Following an investigation by the Connecticut state prosecutor, he was spared of criminal charges. The famed writer-director raised several eyebrows that same year when he began a relationship with his ex-wife's adopted daughter, eventually marrying her in 1997. It was the relationship that quickly became tabloid fodder. Soon Yi Previn, the then 21-year-old adopted daughter of actress Mia Farrow, was caught in an affair with Farrow's longtime boyfriend, Woody Allen. The scandal received a renewed interest in 2014 after Allen was given the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement. Achievement. Number 10, Paula Deen. Before her controversial actions came to light, Paula Deen enjoyed great success as a celebrity chef and TV personality. I have a fabulous healthy bean dip with sun-dried tomatoes. It's item number 502. Oh, I see the numbers. They're turning, they're turning. The Southern lady built a cooking empire that comprised a chain of restaurants and multiple television shows. That empire crumbled back in 2013 when it was revealed that Dean had admitted to using racial slurs in the past. As a result, she was dropped by her longtime home, The Food Network, and had multiple other business partnerships terminated. So when it dumps Dean at the end of the month, the linchpin of her culinary empire will also disappear. Dean then addressed the scandal on the Today Show, but her apology fell flat on its face and did little to convince the public of her remorse. She has since attempted a return to the spotlight, but to many, Dean still remains too hard to swallow. Number 9. Oscar Pistorius Oscar Pistorius became world famous in 2012 when he became the first double amputee to compete at the Summer Olympics. His place on South Africa's track team is the culmination of a difficult and at times controversial quest to become the first amputee track athlete to ever compete at an Olympics. The South African athlete, who lost both of his legs as a child due to a congenital defect, soon became known as the fastest man on no legs. But less than a year after setting a record at the Olympics, Pistorius was arrested for fatally shooting his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, at his home. Although he claimed to have mistaken her for an intruder, Pistorius was convicted of culpable homicide and initially sentenced to five years in prison. This verdict was later overturned and replaced with a murder conviction, which eventually increased his prison sentence to 15 years. The verdict was unanimous and unexpected. South Africa's Supreme Court calling Pistorius's original jail sentence inappropriate and raising it. Number eight, Roseanne Barr. Beginning in the late 80s, Roseanne Barr was one of TV's most beloved actresses, with her starring role in her eponymous ABC sitcom. In the 15 years we've been married, has there ever been one morning where there wasn't any coffee? No. Then why do you have to ask me every morning if there's coffee? <coughs> Is there toast? The show earned Barr an Emmy and made her, at one time, second only to Oprah Winfrey among the highest paid female entertainers. The show's successful 10th season revival brought Barr renewed acclaim, but that all came crashing down with a single tweet. 
after using racially insensitive terms to describe former President Obama's senior advisor, Valerie Jarrett, Barr was fired by ABC, and the show was canceled. Within hours, ABC pulled the plug on the show, saying Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we decided to cancel her show. Soon after, it was brought back as a spin-off series titled The Connors, which featured the same cast as its parent show, except Barr. Number 7. Kevin Spacey The Me Too wave in Hollywood brought down multiple high-profile individuals in 2017, including Kevin Spacey. The Oscar winner first made headlines after actor Anthony Rapp came forward with allegations that he had assaulted him back in 1986. One of Hollywood's best-known actors, Kevin Spacey, the latest high-profile star, caught up in allegations. Spacey responded with a public statement in which he claimed to not remember the incident, but apologized for it nonetheless. He then bizarrely used the opportunity to come out as gay, a move that was decried by many as an attempt to deflect from the allegations. You could argue that coming out as gay in this particular moment might deflect attention away from the allegations against him. Amid a host of other accusations, Spacey was fired from House of Cards, and his contract with Netflix was terminated. He was also erased from the then-upcoming film All the Money in the World, and replaced with Christopher Plummer. Number 6. Lance Armstrong In his ascent to the pinnacle of his field, road racing cyclist Lance Armstrong faced and overcame remarkable challenges in his personal life. He was diagnosed with testicular cancer in 1996, but made a full recovery and went on to win seven consecutive Tour de France titles. He went from survivor to victor in what was called at the time one of the most unbelievable comebacks in sports history. Armstrong wins the Tour de France. For seven straight years, he dominated arguably the hardest sporting event in the world. History. Armstrong brought international attention to cycling, but soon became a symbol of disgrace for the sport. After denying doping allegations for years, in 2012, Armstrong was found guilty by the United States Anti-Doping Agency of using enhancement drugs and helping others do the same. He was stripped of all his titles and permanently banned from participating in any sport under the World Anti-Doping Code. It will ban Armstrong for life and strip him of his seven tour titles. Number 5. R. Kelly Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, R. Kelly was one of the most accomplished acts in R&B music, selling millions of records around the world. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. But no matter how hard he believed, the singer couldn't fly above all the misconduct allegations that trailed his career. In 1994, Kelly illegally married teen singer Aaliyah, he faced criminal charges in 2002 after a video surfaced that allegedly showed him engaging in obscene and illegal acts. However, he was eventually acquitted of all charges. Kelly's doom finally came in 2019, following the release of the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. I want my story to be heard so people could take this situation seriously. But when I found out it wasn't just me, I just don't want it to get any worse. And it was just, it just kept going and going and going. I just wanted to know that it's not, you know, you're not alone. He was convicted of multiple criminal charges and sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. Number 4. Bill Cosby After first gaining prominence as a stand-up comic in the 60s, Bill Cosby developed his image as America's dad on his well-received sitcom The Cosby Show. I'm here. I'm here. Really here? Yeah, here. I'm, let me show you how here I am. See, I'm here, and you sit down here, and we're all here. Behind the scenes, however, his career was plagued by assault allegations spanning decades. Then, in an ironic twist of fate, Cosby met his downfall through a 2014 stand-up routine in which comedian Hannibal Burris referenced the long-standing accusations against him. More women came forward subsequently with claims that the actor had drugged and assaulted them. In 2018, Cosby was convicted of aggravated indecent assault and sentenced to three to ten years in prison. Although, he was released just three years later, after his guilty verdict was overturned due to prosecutorial misconduct. Now a free man, Bill Cosby didn't stay long at his Pennsylvania home, leaving today to reunite with his wife. He was spending the next months with her. They haven't seen each other in almost three years. Number 3. Phil Spector 
Known for developing the wall of sound, Spector was a highly influential music producer who crafted hits for acts such as The Beatles, Ike and Tina Turner, and The Ronettes. <laughs> As the 80s rolled around, Spectre largely disappeared from the spotlight, only to resurface in 2003 for all the wrong reasons. The famous producer was arrested for the murder of actress and model Lana Clarkson. Although he claimed that Clarkson had accidentally shot herself, prosecutors thought otherwise and tried him twice for her murder. The first case ended in a mistrial, but the second brought forth a guilty verdict, and he was sentenced to 19 years to life. Spectre died in 2021, possibly from complications due to COVID-19. Spectre was convicted at a 2009 retrial and jailed for 19 years. He was 81 years old and would have been eligible for parole in three years' time. Number 2. Harvey Weinstein The Me Too movement has helped draw significant attention to the problem of harassment, particularly in the workplace, and it was this scandal that started it all. In October 2017, prolific Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein was accused of harassment and assault by numerous women working in the film industry. He was the legendary film producer at the top of his game, with the world at his feet. But Harvey Weinstein became the first major figure taken down by the Me Too movement. The claims were first broken by the New York Times, with more allegations reported by the New Yorker in the following days. Weinstein was completely blacklisted in the aftermath, being expelled from his own production studio and the Motion Picture Academy. He was later brought up on multiple criminal charges related to the assaults and received a 23-year prison sentence in March 2020. He, he barely showed any remorse, frankly, Diane. Hardly any contrition from Harvey Weinstein as he faces now those 23 years. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. O.J. Simpson O.J. Simpson rose to fame as an NFL star, playing for the Buffalo Bills and later the San Francisco 49ers. Every time he ran the ball, it was almost like the Bills' equivalent of throwing the ball deep. It might not work, but if you made a mistake, they would score. He retired in 1979 and forayed into movies and sports broadcasting. His success continued to grow until 1994, when he was arrested for the murder of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman. The highly sensationalized trial, which took place over 11 months, ended in Simpson being acquitted of the crimes. We the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant or Orenthal James Simpson not guilty. However, he was found liable for their deaths in a subsequent civil trial. In a final blow to his image, Simpson was convicted of armed robbery and kidnapping and was sent to prison, where he remained till he was released in 2017.